Welcome. It's Documentation Office Hours. This is the 9th of February. It's Asia. And let's talk about several topics. Contributor Summit, FOSDOM, Contributor Spotlight, Community Awards, the updated Pride logo, upcoming release, and several more topics, uh, including a cool demonstration that we'll do. Wow. So let's let's go through them and have some fun. So the Jenkins Contributor Summit at Fosdom has happened. And here's the here's the blog post announcing it. If we were to go to communities.jenkins.io, you can see more about it. The slide deck that's linked here has 30 or 40 slides that were presented in the various sessions. And uh, the the thing was a great experience. Thanks to everyone involved. 25 plus people in a room in Brussels, Belgium, donated by Beta Cowork, the room was, and we had great conversations about the present and the future of Jenkins. Then Fosdom happened. We had a bunch of visitors to the booth. We had a lot of fun. And the Jenkins project, thanks to a donation of t-shirts from CloudBees, made over $900. Now, that $900 has been deposited in the Jenkins account. So we have funds to help grow the project. Contributor Spotlight, the most recent Spotlight has been published. Valentin Delay is, a, and Valentin actually attended Contributor Summit and was an active part of the, the sessions. Uh, his first commit came in in 2018 and has been a great force in terms of API plugins and helping us evolve and modernize. Uh, Kevin has two more months worth of, of Contributor Spotlight publication already planned and ready to go, and pull requests are coming. There's a new topic here on Jenkins Community Awards where the, uh, Alyssa's announced it in a blog post just like last year, Jenkins Contributor Awards are offered for Most Valuable Contributor, Most Valuable Advocate, and Security MVP. And the rules are described here. You nominate by creating a pull request in GitHub, and then it's put out for voting. Uh, one of the rules is previous, those who have won in the previous year may not win in the new year. Therefore, Daniel Beck, is not eligible for security MVP because he was last year. And Mark Waite is not eligible for advocate because he was he was elect chosen last year. And I forget who contributor was last year. Well, I'll have to, I'd have to look it up. But oh, oh, let's see. Jan Faracek. Okay. So can't be nominated or we cannot receive the vote for for those that topic. Cool. And oh. onward. We've got a, a new Pride logo that Alex Brandes has submitted. So a new a new image. Notice the difference in the flag. Ah, uh, lovely, lovely. Okay. And why don't uh, we have um, the woman one with a flag too? Oh, good. Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever drawn that one. That's not a bad idea, right? There's the there. There's certainly the the. Let's look at the artwork. Because I think I know which one you're talking about. You're talking about this, not awards. You're talking about artwork. Here, if we look at Duchess, that one. Yes. Yeah, and a good good point. So if someone wants to draw with that, they are certainly welcome to do so. Yeah, I mean, actually, could the the her arm could be turned in. Right. Yep. Oh, yes. Whatever. We should do more stuff with that. Which I would sort of a one-off. And other than that, we keep going back to the guy. <laughs> yes. Fair. All right. Next topic then is we've got an upcoming LTS release. We just got the release candidate. It's I've started running tests on it, and Mark's testing looks good so far. So tests will continue. And we'll release the 21st of February. Then this is a cool one, Maeve. This is, this is a cool one, Meg. I've got to show you. So right. for the longest time, we had 
a long, long list of instructions on how to do, how to get started with a Docker container. And now it's one nice, simple thing right here. Fork it. Oh, no, I take it back. It's where is the, it's the, okay, this is the sample. Oh, here it is. Start your Jenkins instance. What used to be a page and a half is now three steps. Clone Beautiful. the repository, run this command. I've still got to fix that because you had you had noted earlier, this needs to be on a separate line, very visible. Yeah. Yeah, so let me make a note to myself. Still need to fix the uh, position of Docker Compose up. It'd be really nice not only put it on a separate line, but put the little thing that you click that copies it. Yes, with copy with a copy button. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yep, That's good. With a copy button. Yeah. We've got an addition, a new, another new nice little change that's happened on Jenkins.io. If you get a 404, a page not found error, like I would get by clicking this URL. So I'm uh -huh. clicking something that certainly does not exist. There's the page. It used to just show the 404. Now it's got this little search box. When I click that, it populates the search with the text that I put on the end of the URL. Oh. So so here it is. And as it turns out, this is these are the things that match that one. So okay. it takes me there. Very nice, nice work. And I think this was actually a, uh, a a brand new contributor who submitted it. Huh. Now we've still got ongoing work for version documentation. Here, the we're we're now at the point where I think Vandit is almost done with his exams and maybe back to help. We hope that the infra team will be able to assist with it, though I'm not yet sure because we've had some other surprises with infra that has had, had to take higher priority. Hey. And the, oh, go ahead, Meg. No, I just said, but progress is being made. Yes, yes, very much so. Good, good. Now, sp sponsor attributions. This prototype Basel's on vacation for another week. So this one won't, won't see any further progress. But what the goal here is, is to put onto the top level Jenkins page and onto other pages, accurate representations of who the current sponsors are of, of the Jenkins project. Mm. Delighted to announce that AWS has donated $60,000 to the Jenkins project. We were able to announce that at Contributor Summit. And so wow. we use them for cloud resources and we're very, very grateful for their, their donation. It's very kind of them. Good work. And the last topic is Google Summer of Code presentation. And this one I need to discuss with, with Chris. I was hoping that Chris would be here today. Adrian La Charpentier won't be able to mentor this year due to priorities at work. But we mm -hmm. the submission has been the application has been submitted to Google and we are hopeful that we will be approved. I've accepted heard a as that, a project. That What's all that? that will be accepted has to include the string AI. Have you heard this rumor? I well, certainly it, it, at the at at Fosdom, the Google Summer of Code team had a had a session where they talked about they've been given a, a responsibility to set some at least significant fraction of things that need to reference a that needs to need to be related to AI or use AI. So I think that's interesting, but I'm not sure that the Jenkins project has a lot of AI topics on our list. We've got one, I believe, and I'm not I'm not readily sure that it's actually an interesting project. So, yeah. so there's a risk that we might not be accepted if they require that it must be AI. But maybe they, what you say makes sense that they're going to do a, a significant portion. Well, and, and that's up to them, right? If they say, hey, no, we're, we, we, we don't want to accept the Jenkins project. We've got things we know we need to do. And if they don't fund projects, we can consider using the Linux Foundation's outreachy system to fund at least one project. Right. 
Well, Jenkins is something. I mean, you could argue that all these other things that are going to use AI still need Jenkins to get built. Right. Yes, exactly. That's all that Jackson I had. might get ruled out, but I think Jenkins should make it. So hmm. we'll see. Anything else from you, Meg? Not for me at all. Uh -uh. All right. Well, let's call ourselves done for today. Be brilliant in Asia, I'm sure.